beautiful people it's yabo if this is your first time of watching my video you're welcome to my channel and if you are returning subscriber welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by as you guys can see i'm bare face i'm going to be taking you guys through my ninth time skincare routine I already have a skincare routine video uploaded, so I'm going to put a link in the description box if you guys are interested. But I'm just going to be doing my night time skincare routine. I'm talking about early marriage, okay? Talking about early marriage and amen, like you know, Holy Spirit just used me. <laughs> I'm going to be washing my face first. Now, I know early marriage is not for everyone saying this from someone that they did not plan whatsoever whatsoever to get married early like if you ask the younger me like even if you ask any of my friends when is he about planning on settling down getting married they'll probably tell you oh when she's 28 or when she's in her thirties, but you know how God has His way of planning things. Like I'm not the kind of person that would even think of like, oh, my wedding day. I just did not plan for that. But yeah, I am married with a daughter. If you guys do not know, of course I have no regret. I have like an amazing husband. I have a lovely daughter. I have a wonderful home, which I'm proud of and of which I'm really excited about. Now you know what, guys? Let me just wash off my face. I just finished washing my face. Now that I'm back, I'm going to apply my toner. So, of course, there are two different type of people. There are some people that will like a yabo before marriage that would that wouldn't even think of getting married early. And there are some people that would dream and like always just fantasize that moment where they are going to meet their their own prince charming their whole husband and the, it's actually a good thing it's actually a good thing because like i said you know the good thing about life is it there are always two sides of things and the fact that you are heavy on early marriage doesn't mean you're not going to be successful or you're not going to have that life and the fact that you are also not in early marriage doesn't mean you are lacking in any way or you are not succeeding or feeling fulfilled in any way now let me start with this um i would say i, I would i don't know how to put it like i don't want to say this idea or this okay so i know a lot of people have this thought of Oh, once a lady gets married, oh, that's like the end for her. But we thank God, like, we are in a better place in the world where you have a lot of opportunities to be able to do a lot of things, even while you're married. And amen, amen, you find a really good and supportive husband now I'm, I'm talking about early marriage from the female perspective guys so if you are a male and you're watching this video probably not for you and if you just want to learn one or two things fine by me so oh, i'm sorry guys please trust me i'm going to be with you i think i'm just getting distracted because i'm applying the screen so okay so let me start from the fact that if you are heavy on early marriage and you are not like it's not the way you feel it's going to be now mind you it is all you think it's actually going to be but i feel like most times people don't have enough patience to be able to enjoy the moment they have like right now and i'm saying this because of course especially when you're getting married and you're quite young you might feel like oh you are not enjoying your prime enough but the truth is let's be realistic in life like i told my friends something has to give something has to give and another way i feel like another thing that might be um distracting or not allowing someone enjoy their marriage earlier on is the thought of oh probably i'm not going to be fulfilled in so many ways which is not true because trust me you can have it all and please do stick with me throughout this video because i'm just going to let you understand you can have it all the fact that 
probably earlier on you're unable to do some things you feel oh i should be able to do now if i'm not married oh probably i would be into sports and or probably i would have this sort of job or probably i would be in this particular stage of my career like i said something has to give and when i mean something has to give i don't mean you have to forgo your dreams or your career or your job for your marriage but i mean something has to give when it comes to timing because the good thing is knowing the right time for things trust me there are people that will get married earlier on and to you it's like you know they are doing this they are doing that and which is good good for them but that doesn't mean you are also failing in any way because trust me your time will come and that is when you would understand oh you are you know there are instances where people get married quite early and they decide with their partner not to have kids just so as to focus on their work on their career whatever thing they're trying to do and then start having like having their own cute family whereas you might be on the side where you are having kids probably you buy like two three kids and you feel like oh my goodness i'm just a mom is there nothing like i don't have any other thing that is adding up to me but trust me try and enjoy those little moments try and enjoy those little moments your child can be one forever you know today is i think today is october 14th 2022 try and enjoy today because you would never have this day this moment again so there are times where your kids will not be as dependent as they are right now and you can do your own stuff so if you feel like oh your career is lagging amen you have a really supporting husband you would always get it done and trust me you will feel fulfilled and that is why i feel like you will, as long as you are being patient and another thing is trying as much as possible in as much as being a mom being a wife can be a little bit draining it's not actually draining but it's a little bit stressful actually when that's all your life is about you the best thing is try as much as possible not to let go of your dreams not to let go of your plans because that will be the zeal that will be what will keep you going regardless and you know, oh a particular time and you would know the good thing is you will know when the time is right to like go for whatever thing you are dreaming of and by the time you are going for whatever thing you are dreaming of trust me your family will be there with you your husband will be there with you your children will be there with you and you will feel fulfilled in the best way on the other hand it doesn't mean people that get married in their late 20s or in their late 30s are also failing in any way because as i said yeah before marriage would actually think oh you need to enjoy your prime and people feel this way and think this way which is also true because you know life is not just one way there are diverse ways to a beautiful happy ending there are diverse ways to achieving one goal and still feeling very much fulfilled and still feeling very much fulfilled so if the fact that you are getting married probably late doesn't mean you are also feeling like try as much as possible not to let that thought weigh on you. Try and enjoy your prime. Try and enjoy your prime and create good memories and also work on yourself. And now one thing I feel is, I don't know probably this part of the world is most people or some people, don't let me say most people, some people might not... Um, focus on themselves at the moment because of the thought of oh i really want to settle down i want to get married but try and enjoy the present try and achieve a lot of things try and work on your own career try and be happy create good memories for yourself so when you know okay you are later settling down getting married you know oh i really enjoyed my prime and I had a fulfilled, youthful life, and you would also continue to have a fulfilled, youthful life with your own spouse. Now, that's the end of this video. I don't, please, I beg you, let me know in the comment section if you guys actually understand me and put your own, like, write your own idea or what you think in the comment section. Because, trust me, I just feel like coming here to just talk 
and i also don't want it to be lengthy but i really hope you guys really enjoy this video and you understand it's not really about enjoying but understanding what i'm pass i'm trying to pass to you if you're watching this video let me know in the comment section the fact that you are getting married early or the fact that you are married quite early doesn't mean you should let go of your dreams or you are not feeling fulfilled in any way and the fact that you might be getting married in your 30s or even your 40s doesn't mean you're a loser it doesn't mean you are not fulfilled marriage is not like um it, it doesn't have to be a tag to define success for any female and also being get, getting married early shouldn't be an obstacle or be like a stopping point for your dream or your goal in life because as females we can do it all okay we can do it all you can be a wife you can be a mom and still be killing it okay killing it and we can also be a really good career and a comfortable woman lady and enjoy your life in pure bliss and still have that home later in the future i really hope you guys do enjoy this video please do subscribe to my channel i'm going to be coming up with more new content and i love you all see my next video bye